Hey folks, we're over at my neighbor's house, Ainsley's. I thought we'd do a quick uh, quick tour, see what's going on over here. Um, we're actually standing right in the middle of his main entertainment room. <laughs> You can see the, the, the definition now, how everything's taking place. They've got uh, a lot of the plastering completed on in here. Still a ways to go. Still a, still a ton of work, but you can see how beautiful his design's going to be. You can see the three individual windows. You can see how tall they are, how much sunlight it's going to bring in, and how much beauty it's going to bring to the, to the view itself. Looking from inside and out to the outside there. This will be a beautiful place to, to sit and chat, have coffee in the morning, maybe have some wine in the, in the afternoon or evening with the family. As we go over here to the dining area that rolls into the kitchen, you can still see that there's a ton of work to go, but this build should be completed here within a couple of months. So they're really going have to have to push to get that through. But he's got such a nice design in this overall house. This will be a dining area that we're in now with, with uh, your doors to the outside, your sliding doors. And he's going to have nice French windows all through this build. He spent a ton of money on, on windows and the quality of windows. And we've, we've talked about that how it actually exceeded his line items in his budget. And as we get into the what's going to be the kitchen area, you can see the, the open door here for the sliding area. You can see the open truss that are up here. See the air conditioning lines have been plumbed, getting ready for the units to come in and get stalled after they finished that uh, that plaster coat, you got some paint down, and you can see all the electrical connections that are up on the walls. Here, you can see this beam here that's going up. This was actually the beam had um, actually stopped where the beam meets the the ceiling on the first floor. He's asked for another column, strictly for looks, to go from the second floor all the way to the, the roof upstairs in the lanai area to give it a really nice look. That's why it's being broke out so he can they can actually add another section to that beam. It's not for support, it's strictly for looks. So if you're wondering what that was, like I was, I asked uh, the owner here and he told me what that was all about. Let's head on into some of the, see the progress in some of the other other rooms since last time we've been here. You can see this area here. Still got a lot to, lot to do, but this is going to be, it's kind of dark, but it's going to be a nice bathroom area here. The garage area is off to the, the left. And this will be a, another bedroom here too. You can see they've just marked the, the openings for the air conditioner on that far, far wall. You can see all the electrical conduit that's it's coming from the ceiling where the electrical, where he's going to have his fans. And like I said before, he's going to have all smart switches up here. This is house, this is house is going to be smart house let's head on up these stairs and see what's going on but before we head upstairs you can see this section here it's being chipped out that's being chipped out for headroom because the requirements were if I remember right it was supposed to be 80 inches on height and when you get up these stairs it, he's got some friends that are pretty good size from American friends from from America there are actually some of them are over 6'4", he was telling me, so he had, they had to make sure, so they're, they're chipping out that, that 
comb to get them that extra couple inches just to make sure that none of the folks touch their heads as they're going up these stairs. Because one of, I guess, his comments on the, on the video was about overall height. And we're almost up to the second floor. This is my favorite bedroom in the whole build. This one right here, because it's got such a nice view to it. And when I say view, I'm not talking about just looking over at the lot next door across the street, which is mine, but I just like the view because it's with all the greenery and how high it sits up and you can see the ceilings all the, the exposed truss that are there well, let's call it a barnyard transition might not be the proper name for it but that's what I call it it's got all these windows up here that bring in the natural beauty of the surroundings and the home. And this will be the uh, second story area here that it's got uh, sliders as well. It opens up to the lanai area. And this will all be be open so after he comes out of the bedroom in the morning he can come out. Also another good spot to enjoy enjoy his coffee maybe even have his breakfast upstairs if he chooses to and you can see the see the nice lights the windows that are up here a little light shape but the windows that, that bring the natural light in he added those windows in yes, we're better for him. wife's telling me that pointing out the air con air conditioning connection you can see the windows he's got one two three four five six plus a slider in this room it's going to be a lot of natural light in this in this room and with the open beam ceiling and when they have the you get to you get to see the tile and stuff that the the, the natural wood look that they're going to put up there on top of the roof it's going to give it a really really nice look to it once they're completed this is an area that uh, that had been actually there there had been some type of water damage to this area during the pour they're actually in the process him and his builder are actually in the process of, of doing a test on this area here because the rain had caused a slight a slight slump in the actual lanai area and you can see where the water's sitting on it now and they're going to do a, a stress test on it or a, a flex test on it because the the builders kind of questioning whether he needs to take this knock this area completely out and report it because he wasn't really hundred percent satisfied with what went on here and I'm going to try to get that on on camera where he's going to put a a piece of like scaffolding underneath it and put, uh, put some pressure on that and actually bring it up from the ground and then use a, a piece of compression board or styrofoam board in there <clears throat> and when that build is, uh, and then he's going to he's going to stress it by he's putting load the load this section up with uh, concrete hollow blocks to simulate the weight of, of a lot of people standing in the area here. And if this support area at all flexes at, at all on that uh, styrofoam, he'll they'll end up breaking this uh, this out. Um, he's going to break it out because he's not happy with the results on it. I mean, right now the way it sits now, there's no problem with uh, with getting it to. Um, to get leveled out with the tile. If he hadn't told me, I probably wouldn't notice it. Uh, maybe I'd see it now with the water sitting in. You can see that there's a there's a slight, just a tiny bit of a, a dip into it. But without that, there'd have been no way you would have known if you hadn't told me. If you look past that, the kitchen. Look at all those windows in there, and that's going to be nice with that with all those open one, two, three, four, five different sets of. Uh, windows going into that gonna make for a nice a lot of no, nice natural light he's gonna have I think he's gonna have somewhere of the of the upwards of 44 windows and doors 
in this house, as I mentioned earlier. And this area right here will be the focal point of the yard, which will be the side area. I mean, it looks pretty crummy with all the, all the stuff in there now with the mixer and all the bags and stuff. But if you can envision what it's going to look like down the road after it's been landscaped, and then the back slope area here after they've done their, their magic to the, to the hillside there, It'll be a very, very beautiful, beautiful home to see. You can see the that black uh, wire there for the CCTV cameras. It's going to have a lot of security here. It'll be a good thing. And I'm not sure how soon that lot next to them is going to be, whether it's even sold or not. But until that lot gets sold, um, he's got a he's going to have a nice view of some. It's a little bit of Tia Maria jungle there, I call it. And across the street, you get to see my build and then the, the open lot next to it. So there's a this, this house has a lot of nice features to it. Every time I come up here, I really, really enjoy looking at it. You can see the roof area here now. They're putting the fascia boards on the front. They still have to put the, the caps on the, uh, on the roof itself. And there's a small section uh, where the kitchen that has not been completed yet that they're working on so when that when that gets completed they'll go ahead and uh, be able to show you that I don't know if you're able to capture it but that's the area that's not completed yet, small section. So, but like I said, this house is really, really nice. It's got a lot of nice features to it that it's hard to describe until you get on site and actually get inside of it. It's got a real good homey feel to it. So, well folks, it's, it's Sunday. We're gonna get back to the family. It's Sunday afternoon, we normally come in the morning but we decided to come out in the afternoon. We've been sitting here chit-chatting with our, our neighbor. Maybe next time I'll get you an interview with him. If you guys like to see that happen, let us know. And we can get his thoughts on his uh, reason for the build. This is all the conduit that's, uh, that's being laid in the ground. This is gonna carry all the electrical connections, all the CCTV connections. All the internet connections, all the Cat6 cabling, it's going to be covered up uh, with tile. I'm sure they're going to have to set this down, but right now it's just temporary laid in here. But when they cover this all up, there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do on that. You can see where it's actually, actually gone into the second floor foundation here. But they still have a lot of work to do to get all this, all this cleaned up. But the builder's definitely up to the challenge, so we're gonna make it happen. Picture of my lovely wife there, on site, with no mask on, which is kind of rare. But there's only me and her, so we're good to go. Anyway, folks, we're gonna go enjoy the rest of the day with the, uh, with our uh, our family. We're gonna get back to where we. We're currently living at now, so we're gonna we're gonna head on out of here. All well, you folks, stay safe, and if you like what you see, please keep watching. Take care now.